we have media matters george soros the federal elections commission congress saying it's criminal to link to russian news to even show a speech of putin on infowars.com or drudge is evil and that we're working for these outside powers even though most of the links we have are to u.s news and even mainstream news that are our enemies we're just showing what they're saying but then you've got brian williams the poster man of fake news on msnbc saying it's a dog whistle and that it's racist and that sovereignty's bad and undermines the UN and the EU. Yeah, big, bloated, corrupt, anti-free speech, anti-America, anti-Christian, pro-Islamic criminal organizations. And they're the ones saying Trump's bad for wanting the country to be strong. How obvious is it who the traitors are? <laughs> It is Thursday, the 21st day of September 2017. Hard to believe soon 2017 will be gone as well. You can put it up on screen if you want, guys. A little joke uh, Photoshop somebody did online of myself, Trump, and Vladimir Putin uh, all riding together on the same horse, shirtless. You know, this really is a big joke, and we should recognize it as a joke. But at the same time, understand that the people pushing this whole narrative are really, really nasty, nasty globalists. And it was Matt, one of the producers, that just pointed out, if you just joined us, that the Democrat Party funded Hillary Clinton, John Podesta directed, George Soros funded Media Matters has called for criminal investigations of myself for working with Russia, and they've had members of the Federal Elections Commission and members of Congress, and they've had hearings. We've played those. And let me tell you, when you're sitting there watching C-SPAN, and they're having armed service committee hearings, just saying, and Alex Jones, who works for Russia, and Alex Jones, who gets paid by Russia, <laughs> yeah, I get paid by our listeners funding our operation. It's insane. But it shows what criminals they are, and it shows how Hillary actually got money from the Russians, and so did Podesta. And they were scared that Trump was going to go after him for that. So they jumped on the Russia narrative first. No one in New York City and D.C., you can't swing a stick and not hit a Russian or a Chinese operative. And knowing some of the people were going to talk to him, you know, Armed Services Committee, Intelligence Committee, Judicial Committee, people like Sessions had, had, had met with the Russian ambassador three times in 2016 in his capacity as a senator. Turned out Pelosi met with him 30 plus times that year. Then she said she hadn't, but there were photos in the guest book and everything else. So they're playing this giant game because we're the Americans. We're the folks that want sovereignty. We're the people that are standing up for getting the stock market up, getting factory jobs back in, controlling our borders, deporting people that commit aggravated felonies. But they've got a big report, media matters, drudge, infected America with Russian propaganda. And then they say, oh, over four and a half years, he linked to them 400 times. whoop de I'm surprised it's only 400 times. He's got a couple links today to the New York Times. In fact, you could actually argue, hey, Drudge, you're the biggest website in the world. Why are you sending all the traffic to the Washington Post and the New York Times and all the establishment guys? Well, you want to hear what they're saying. I'm not criticizing that. But they all know full well thousands of times he's linked to the New York Times compared to 400 to Russian news. And why wouldn't you link to the English Russian news when they've got wildfires or earthquakes or Ukraine news or political stuff to get multiple sides? You go to CNN, you get their view. You go to the Washington Post, you get their view. You go to Drudge Report, you get the whole thing. There's like 60, 70 articles every day. Same thing with Infowars.com or Newswars.com. You go there. In fact, my own listeners go, why are you linked to the New York Times or the Washington Post? Or why did you link to Hillary saying something evil and putting out her propaganda? I want you to hear what the witch said. Lawrence O'Donnell is blowing up in this new video from behind the scenes during breaks because they let a conservative say something he didn't like that made too much sense. He wanted it edited down where it didn't make sense. That's what they do. He's like, what'd you do? That made too much sense. Now I've got to respond to it. You're supposed to edit it to not make any sense. 
just like they did with Megyn Kelly. But people saw that it was just incoherent gibbering and jump cuts and it wasn't what I said. They take things I said 10 minutes, 30 minutes apart from eight hours of interviews and just weld them together. And we released, obviously, excerpts of audio showing the fraud. Our videos exposing her had more views than her show on NBC. Just our YouTubes and Facebooks. Again, they're a husk. They're a joke. They're over. What are they going to do? Do they thank Drudge? Sending them the majority of their traffic at the New York Times is from Matt Drudge. The Washington Post? No, they all write articles about how evil Drudge is and how he's a Russian. Oh, here, here's all your traffic. Oh, screw you, Russian. Just a month ago, Federal Elections Commission member, Democrat, wants criminal investigation. They already had one. There was nothing there. They already had an FBI counter-espionage investigation. Look at this. This is, this is dangerous. But what did Matt point out? He goes, Alex, he goes, you notice they're demonizing Trump on CNN, MSNBC, ABC News, breathlessly that he kept saying nationalism, nationalism, nation states are for their people, not to an international combine. We should all work together internationally. We should have global trade, but not globalism that transfers the power to unelected systems like the TPP. Th folks, just a year ago, they wouldn't let members of Congress see the TPP. Then there was a big enough hue and cry in the last months of the election, they would let senior members go in a room without their cell phones to read one piece of paper at a time of over 10,000 pages. That's how you conquer a nation, with a bunch of bureaucratic takeover, not armies. We'd fight armies. But if, oh, if it's waves of children coming in and the UN and refugees and global government and loving and it's helpful and, you know, virtue signal, you're a white supremacist. If you don't turn yourself over to world government, if you don't accept Obamacare written by the Republicans. And so he pointed out MSNBC worries Trump uses the word sovereign as a racist dog whistle. They said it was over the top, a loving focused, good speech about free market and capitalism and brotherhood of humankind and all of this. And they're like, oh, did you hear it? Oh, the code words. The, co the code words like our government doesn't have one-sided tariffs where all the jobs go to China, where there's slave factories, so Apple can make billions more a day? I mean, Apple's making billions a day or so. Every couple days they make a billion dollars. They got suicide factories. But it's okay because it's like, we're Apple, we're liberal. We said you were white supremacists. Shut up about our death factories. Shut up about 18-hour workdays, forced drugging, robots we tried to bring in to replace people didn't work. Shut up. We've got hippie beards and act non-threatening. When behind the scenes, they're psycho demons. Clearly, they got rid of jobs because he wouldn't play games. Uh, you know, against the American people. Jobs said, don't let your kids have iPads. Don't let your kids watch TV. It's ruining their brains. Oh, here, here's some weaponized cancer, brother. So, these people mean business, okay? They mean business. And, oh, look, they've got Drudge's hat, his little classic straw hat fedora, and they've got it red, white, and blue, the Russian colors. But even when they lie, they tell the truth, because Drudge is red, white, and blue. And this isn't some gesticulation or exercise and kissing the butt of Matt Drudge. It's a fact that if they can bring him down, they can bring us all down. And they're trying to sell this idea and bully him with the congressional hearings and everything where they go, a drudge amplifies Alex Jones and InfoWars. And we've got criminal investigations going. And then drudge goes from linking to us every couple days to once a month, which is fine because our listeners are pushing record traffic to InfoWars.com and newswars.com, and we understand that Drudge is under attack, and God knows what's happened to him behind the scenes. He gave us the only exclusive interview he's given in like two years. He did one other little 10-minute one, but in the last two years, we've gotten the main interview. There's been two interviews. We got it. I, I love it. I'm not one of these people where somebody helps expand what we're doing 500% and does a great job and, and, and is a stalwart 
and then for whatever reason doesn't link to us as much, that's fine. But I know this, Media Matters is going, Matt Drudge, you better not link to Alex Jones, you better not link to Alex Jones, you better not link to Breitbart, you better not link to anybody else, you better leave all the libertarian and patriot sites alone, and this is all part of the isolating Trump and isolating Drudge and isolating InfoWars, where they admit, oh, we've banned Breitbart and InfoWars from Trump because Breitbart and InfoWars, CNN reported four months ago, say that there was warrantless wiretapping of Trump Tower against Manafort. And of course, now you learn months later, we were absolutely 110% on target and correct. That's why they don't want the president looking at drudgereport.com because he saw the InfoWars article. Let's just say I've talked to people very close to the president about it. They saw the InfoWars story and they are just horrified because the president then went and pardoned him. They don't want him exercising executive authority. They don't want that. Just like they don't want, if they can't keep Drudge from the president, we'll just keep InfoWars from Drudge, see? And people could say, well, you know, why is Drudge giving into that pressure? I, I'm, I'm not even sure that's the case, but clearly I think that's two plus two equals four. The point is, is that this is how they're going to win and everyone knows that. Drudge starts linking two or three times even more to mainstream news than he was, and the mouth of George Soros and Hillary says, we want to arrest you and shut you down. We've now, we think we've bullied you. Whether it's true or not, we think we've bullied you, so now we're going to rub your face in the mud while we piss on your back. Excuse the French. And that's it. And that's how this works. And it's incredible. The president needs an intelligence network. The president needs to see a video of Hillary doing something evil or of what his constituents have to say. And that's what Drudge does. It links to YouTube, links to everything. It's wide spectrum. Whatever's interesting to Matt Drudge, he links to. Just like whatever's interesting to my writers and myself at Infowars.com. Our listeners criticize us. They don't get it. They go, why are most of the links on your site to mainstream news? We're just showing you what the enemy's saying. It doesn't mean we work for the New York Times. When I link to RT, it's mainly because it's pretty balanced reporting on almost all issues, and they let us post the whole thing. We link to a lot of RT stuff. I mean, you read these RT articles, they are way more accurate when you've done the research. I mean, RT is giving Rand Paul a platform to talk about how this isn't a real repeal of Obamacare. Wow, what a great favor. The evil Russians are trying to get us a better deal on our health care. It's not that. Russia's been under oligarchs. Russia's been under elites. Russia's been under the very same robber barons. They understand it, and they're Christian now, and they're nationalistic now, and they're anti-radical Islam now, and they really want to dig out of this, and they want America to dig out of it with them. And that's why the globals are so pissed, and that is the Russian relationship. They just had a big Al-Qaeda-ISIS offensive their last ditch battle of the bulge against uh, Syrian and Russian forces and U.S. forces. And so Big Bear bombers just bombed and killed 850 plus ISIS Al-Qaeda fighters today. That's what the Russians are doing is bombing radical jihadists right now with heavy bombers. That's what they're doing, turning back Al-Qaeda offensives that kill every Christian. They get their filthy, dirty, maggot hands on. Meanwhile, the West is so sold out to radical Islam, from Germany to England to the U.S., if you criticize ISIS in your own blog, the dean threatens to suspend you or does suspend you. The government protects ISIS. They bring ISIS fighters back to Europe and give them better welfare than the general public gets. That's in the news. I've got stacks here where they're banning more outdoor beer festivals because the Muslims will attack them. They're attacking women that walk dogs, screaming dogs are unclean. The answer is don't wear short mini skirts and don't walk dogs. Do what the Muslims want. Bend over to them. From Germany to Malaysia, they are banning their annual beer festivals because the Muslims will come up and blow your butt up or stab your ass because they're so tolerant. Let's go back to the article. There it is, Infowars.com, directly linked to the Malaysian news by Adon Salazar. Annual beer festival canned following protest from Islamicist. But let's go back to that clip I just mentioned. Video, MSNBC, Steve Watson article, Newswars.com. MSNBC worries Trump use of the word sovereign is a dog whistle. 
That's right. Even saying we have a country is evil. Here it is. Did you did you hear a buzzword or a dog whistle in in his uh, repeated hey, use of that? Back it up again. They use this consensus garbage. Well, they have these panels of people with the king of fake news, the god of fake news, the poster boy of fake news, the very essence of fake news, the man caught putting out hundreds of fabricated reports claiming he is a combat vet shot down by rocket-propelled grenade in Iraq. Brian Williams back from under a rock, crawling directly out of Hillary Clinton's rear end on the kitchen table, telling you having a country is evil. And then going to these ding-dongs he's got there to act all freaked out about it. Here it is. Sovereign and sovereignty. Did you, did you hear a buzzword or a dog whistle in, in his uh, repeated use of that word? Yeah, we knew he was going to talk a little bit about <sighs> that because they had given us a little bit of a preview. No words or anything. But so we were sort of expecting this theme, but it was just way... More. It was just over the top. It oh, was, yeah. you know, it, it caused me to go back through and count how many times. And so he he used that word sovereign or sovereignty 21 times. Wow. It, was, it was definitely the word. I mean, everyone. Hey, what does that mean? Everyone you know, everybody wants to blame Israel for everything. But Israel's liberals, conservatives, Christians, Jews, a lot of folks live over there. The point is, I've been neutral in Israel because it, it, it's a politically correct subject that's just fraught with mental illness. But when Israel got the documents in WikiLeaks that George Soros does plan to overthrow the U.S. and overthrow Israel and actually purge people, Israel finally went, okay, you're a criminal, and okay, you're trying to overthrow the U.S. And now we actually have parts of the Israel lobby turning against Hollywood and the leftist lobby and turning against all those crazy self-hating Jews and other people in Hollywood and in D.C. And there is a civil war really going on uh, inside the Israel lobby to a great extent. And like the cavalry, here comes Netanyahu over here uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, supporting what Trump's doing. And that's being done out of self-preservation. The globalists are going to overthrow everything. They're coming for everybody. Do you want, and they're going to turn loose on us a bunch of Muslims that kill each other and can't live in peace and can't even wipe their asses, okay, with toilet paper. I'm sorry, it's true. Excuse me, I'm... I'm not trying to be like this, but I'm really angry right now. And so, again, all the BS you've heard on the internet, all the anti-Israel stuff, why do you wonder they try to beat you over the head everywhere from conservative angles and why white supremacists hate me so much and always claim I work for Israel? It's because they've been funded by Soros and Southern Poverty Law Center. It's come out th to a group. The white supremacists are there to make nationalists and conservatives look bad so there's not a big tent for everybody to come and have a big free world, a free market. <laughs> They've been caught red-handed, folks. And that's why they're so upset and don't know what to do now. Because Jews in America are now waking up to this completely. And that, and that is a powerful lobby and, a, and a, on average a wealthy group of people. And to have that whole group now against the globalist uh, is, is just absolutely devastating. And Because they got the documents. Globalism was a complete, a lot of folks went along with globalism just thinking it was kumbaya or, you know, maybe they'd have a piece of the pie. No, nobody gets a piece of the pie but mass death run by people like George Soros. Coming to you live from the ATX, deep in the heart of Texas. I am your host, Alex Jones. Infowars.com is the site. Prisonplanet.com is the backup. Newswars.com is a lot of exclusive content. Please uh, help send that link out to everybody. The site's getting a lot of traffic, but I want to push it out there to be really, really dominant. Newswars.com. So, we have Media Matters, George Soros, the Federal Elections Commission, Congress, saying it's criminal to link to Russian news. To even show a speech of Putin on Infowars.com or Drudge is Evil and that we're working for these outside powers, even though most of the links we have are to U.S. news and even mainstream news that are our enemies. We're just showing what they're saying. But they claim that we're the ones that want to destroy U.S. sovereignty when Trump's delivering on the stock market, delivering on jobs, delivering on the border, delivering on everything he can, and fighting hard to get the other stuff done. But then you've got Brian Williams, the poster man of fake news, on MSNBC 
saying it's a dog whistle and that it's racist and that sovereignty is bad and it undermines the UN and the EU. Yeah, big, bloated, corrupt, anti-free speech, anti-America, anti-Christian, pro-Islamic criminal organizations. And they're the ones saying Trump's bad for wanting the country to be strong. How obvious is it who the traitors are? And Russia's crime is they're sovereign and they're Christian. And they've pulled away from the clutches of the globalist. And they've successfully repulsed Bolshevik part two with Soros. And Soros wants the same Bolshevik revolution 100 years later. They want it this October. They had it planned with Hillary. And it's blown up in their stinking faces. Let's go back to the clip of these absolute globalist operatives, enemy soldiers in the info war against America. Liars every one. Here they are. It was just over the top. It was, you know, it, it caused me to go back through and count how many times. And so he, he used that word sovereign or sovereignty 21 Ooh. times. It, wow. was, it was definitely the wow. word. I mean, everyone so what took, does that mean? Everyone the N word. Took said sovereign. Yeah, said sovereign. <laughs> it just means what he was talking about from the beginning, which is America first. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go it alone. Said the N word again. Every other Whoa. nation should be independent and free to do what they want. And said the S word. Together to fight, you know, what he called the wicked, the wicked few. I think he called it the wicked ones. Yeah, like ISIS. Um, yeah, so, yeah. you know, that really undermines to me the UN, which is where he was today, mm -hmm. NATO, EU, places like that, international bodies, he was really saying. Shut up by the globals. That's enough for her. <laughs> we know who the enemies are, and we're sick of you, and Hollywood's imploding, mainstream media's imploding. Everyone who has any brain cells hates you. In fact, most of your viewers know you're a fraud. They want to be you and are, want to be con artists. So they watch you like you're their mommy and you're under the, you know, they're under your black wings and they suck off your poisonous appendages. Now, before I go any further, we need funding. And when we offer stuff at 50% off, like we're doing the highest quality, My Patriot Supply, private label by InfoWars with promo code READY, it's 50% off the already super low price. Now, all their other distributors only do like 20%. I twist arms in a savage way. And they just said, okay, fine, because the earthquakes and everything else, we're not going to be like Amazon. Uh, people are really waking up. But while supplies last, they ship usually same day the order goes through, but it could get behind the next few weeks because the massive amount of orders. But we're not raising prices when people are massively ordering. We cut them. Yeah! Because that's how I want to be treated. I want all the good mojo. I want to reap what I sow. I treat you like I want to be treated. But we got to sell a lot of this to make any money because we're making like 5 6% depending on the package of food on this. I mean, this is a loss leader baby. Uh, Infowarstore.com and a bunch of other specials have to end today. We're extending this one for as long as my patriot lets me, but the lowest price in America for high quality storable food now to get ready for everything that's coming and be self-sufficient. Not because we're in fear, but because we're ready. Promo code READY, 50% off. Hour number two, coming up. Yeah, the enemy's scared. I smell their fear. <laughs> yeah. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com.